Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for your great support, always. I'm so grateful for your continued support to this channel. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Now, for the first time, after Kindiki Kiture has been sworn in, Rigali Gashagwa has, uh, has decided to post in his Facebook account saying this, Home sweet home. Thanking God for the gift of my family. The smell of fresh grass, sounds of chirping birds, is what a happy family needs. I will remain forever grateful to God for giving me a loving and supportive family. We are happy to be home, where I was born and brought up. I can't wait for the morning to take my walk in Hombe Forest. Enjoy the beautiful scenery of Mount Kenya as I thank God for his kindness. God bless Kenya. That is what Rigadi Gashagwa is coming out to say. Ladies and gentlemen, before we continue, ensure you like the video as you always do. Because when you like the video, you automatically support the work that I'm doing in this channel. Because sometimes you watch the video and you forget liking the video. So this is just a reminder. As you watch, ensure you like the video. Thank you so much for that like. Now Kenyans, Rigadi Gashagwa is coming out to share this photo. And this photo is showing his wife, Pastor Dorcas Rigadi, his two sons, who have always been supportive to him. And what Rigadi Gashagwa is telling Kenyans is that home sweet home. But again, remember, when Rigadi Gashagwa is saying this, he is in the process of healing and he is in the process of acceptance. That, okay, everything has been done the way it is, beyond repair, and the only thing he has now is to thank his family and clearly you can see even him appreciating the gift of his family and again how the family has been supportive and again disclaiming that he's happy to be home the way people said that rather than sending Raila Amuru Dinga to Bondo now it is him so those are the issues eh, that now Kenyans are coming out to raise at the comment section below in terms of the Rigadi Gashagwa's post. But remember one thing. As Rigadi Gashagwa is posting this, is a man that yes, and as a funika, is happy, but inner side of Rigadi Gashagwa is not a comfortable man. He is traumatized. Because let me say today, Kindiki Kitura Mechukwa Yukiti. Then Kesho Utaskia Sasa these individuals are attacking Kindiki Kithure. Then they came out impeaching him. It will be so traumatizing, you know. When I say that, it doesn't mean that I'm so supporting Rigari Shago or I'm supporting Kindiki Kithure. We are just having a conversation here. That remember, yes, if maybe Rigari Shago was having his mistakes, but it is so traumatizing for him to be removed like this. And now the man who used to have power it is no longer there, you know. It is so traumatizing to him. Even he can show that, yes, he's comfortable, he's at home. But the truth of the matter is, the man is so traumatized. The man is so traumatized. Maybe he will start now doing his businesses the, the way he claimed that he's a businessman. And he's having several businesses. Let him do as, as much as maybe William Ruto might decide. Ataki maneno na e, kuvruta na e, kupelekwa koti left, right, center. Maybe he's going to be given peace because now he has vacated. And by vacating, he has given the, the, the William Ruto and his team peace. And so let them deliver to Kenyans because they were, they were telling us that they failed to deliver because regarding the Shagwa alikuwa na piga vita kwa isirikari. So we want to see a scenario where now William Ruto and Kindiki Kithure they are going to deliver 
as per what they promised Kenyans. Because remember, Tindeki Kiture was among those individuals when the bottom-up economic uh, economy model was being launched. And so Kindiki Kiture understands very well also. So what we want to see, the way the impeachment of Rigadi Gashagwa went just for one week, then story Likwe Meisha or two weeks, Likwe Meisha, let these members of parliament also take two weeks or one week to implement some issues that are going to, uh, sub, um, of course, people best interest, you know. But what these members of parliament will start doing, you will be shocked. You will have another agenda. And this agenda will be about their interest, not the interest of the people. So when I saw Rigad Gashago posting this, I've realized something that is very crucial. As a leader, when you are elected or appointed, remember, when power comes, you will not know when it will go. You know? So, have respect. Usikanyage kila mutu. Ukepeta umekanyaga huyu, umekanyaga huyu, umekanyaga huyu. It is a good thing that you must learn from what Rigad Gashagwa has passed through. Again, remember in politics, some actions are being translated differently. <laughs> remember, when Rigad Gashagwa was coming out to campaign in a mountain for William Ruto in 2022, he said that our people, let us vote for William Ruto. Our people, we as the people of the mountain, we are united behind William Ruto. So then it was campaign, so they were not tribal. But immediately they were sworn in in the office. Now, regarding Gashago, when he continues saying that, now he's tribal, tribal, you know. Something that sometimes I don't understand. Wakati walikuwa na campaign, regarding Gashago alikuwa na piga uru vita, na raila vita. Akisema koba, watu yetu sisi kama wakikui Mount Kenya region, tuko nyuma ya William Ruto. Mbona hako waisema akiwa mountain, atisizi kama wa Kenya. Alisema people of the mountain. And so they were going to vote for William Samuel Ruto. So this drama that you're seeing, the way I will just continue saying, kulikuwa tuna graj, kuna kiini pale. Because we are being told, again there is a news that you're seeing, that Rigali Gashagwa was leading a certain team to uh, remove William Ruto illegally from the office. So, kuna maneno kinatokea pale ati ho, regardi ya shagwa lukwana lead the coup, siju what, left, right, center. So, this issue of siju regardi ya shagwa is tribal, ni hile kubandikiwa tu, but kuna kiini cha kutowa regardi ya shagwa, which for me, I believe it is not about tribalism. Because, if you tell regardi ya shagwa is tribal, I've seen some leadership from Western saying that we must unite ourselves, we as we are lawyer. You need to party kitu. Is that tribal politics? Yes. I've seen Nyanza saying that we will no longer fight William Ruto. We as lawyers, we are behind William Ruto. What? Did you saw them say the same thing? I saw even Sam, Sam Atani, the member of parliament of Alago Songa, Sierra County, saying that going forward, no one should criticize William Ruto negatively from Nyanza. Akijaribu, ataona moto. You know? Sisi kama wajaluo, atisisi tuko nyuma ya William Ruto. That is what uh, Samatadi said. So I think, hii maneno wanafunika tu. Ati ligadhi ka shagwa ni tribal. But in truth, in truth, what I can say without any fear of contradiction, it is just a grudge that was there and started long time ago and went beyond the repair which for even the forgiveness of Rigadi Gashagwa will not even repair that breakup, you know. But here he is now, he's saying home sweet home, thanking God for the gift of his family. Mm? The smell of fresh grass, sounds of chirping birds is what a happy family needs. That he will remain forever grateful to God for giving him a loving and supportive family. That... Uh, they are happy to be home. You know, where he was born and brought up. So he's saying that he can't wait for the morning to take his walk in Hombe Forest. Enjoy the beautiful scenery of Mount Kenya as he thanked God for
for his kindness. God bless Kenya. That is the statement of Igariga Shagwa this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, thank you so much because of your great support. Please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, and sharing this video. Bye-bye till you meet in another video.